This is the early morning rush at Pasar Senen, one of Jakarta's busiest stations. These passengers are among the first to try Indonesia's new COVID-19 breathalyzers. Compared to the antigen rapid test and the PCR test, this test is a lot cheaper and more simple. The scientists behind the Genos device say it can smell COVID-19 on the breath in just two minutes. Without getting a negative result, these passengers can't board the train. The devices will be used at public sites around the country, but scientists warn it shouldn't replace PCR testing. Genos is a screening tool. If someone has a positive result, it should be confirmed with a PCR, but if they test negative, there's no need to. The test costs around one US dollar, much cheaper than a PCR test, which can cost up to $100 at some hospitals. But some epidemiologists say this is yet another misguided step by Indonesian authorities. Some health experts are critical of this new method of testing. They say Indonesia's healthcare is in crisis and the country is stuck in a relentless first wave of COVID-19 cases. They recommend the government focuses on increasing PCR testing rather than rolling out cheaper and less accurate options. We have to focus on uh, increase the capacity for PCR testing or if not, just choose to improve the capacity for rapid test antigen testing. Indonesia conducts around 40,000 PCR tests each day and has a test positivity rate of almost 30 percent. Last week, the country surpassed a million confirmed cases, but experts fear the real number is much higher. More than a year into the pandemic, some health workers feel the government has let them down on two fronts, by failing to invest in more testing and by not having strict COVID-19 restrictions in place. I don't really know why the testing is still lacking in Indonesia. It's so important, and we're still seeing people traveling and gathering at the stations. If it continues this way, COVID-19 will stay here, even next year. Ten of Dr. Erni's patients have died, and she fears the situation will worsen as overwhelmed hospitals are forced to reject patients. The health ministry did not respond to Al Jazeera's request for an interview. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.